Where am I? What's happening? I'm trapped in a storm? How did I get here? And where is here? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. So surreal. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. <gasps> there you go, Victoria. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Yeah. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? Frankly, I do love my analog camera. I do love my analog camera. Seriously, I should take a quick picture now. Any one of you in a dark corner, and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? <clears throat> You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> the Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. Online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Hi, Kate. Oh, 
I'm sure your Hi, Max. like to be consumed by your work. I just really think Everyday Heroes is an important cultural event, and I want to represent Black Lives You seem quiet today. Just, just thinking too much. By putting yourself out there in the world, now, no matter who wins, this is just a bump on a bigger road. I hear that. Want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? God, I'm such a photo nerd. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses? And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? Huh, this might make a cool shot. Huh, this might make a cool shot. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max. You're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. You can never escape the lighthouse here.
Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The Decisive Moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson? That's rare. Annie Leibovitz, mad respect. The amazing Eugene Smith? Good to see Avedon among the masters. Dolly, of course. Lots of people I haven't heard of yet. I guess that's why I'm here. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. How cute I looked yet. I was about to. I feel like you have to pick.